All right, hey everybody, we're in mom's kitchen again, just hanging out today on Sunday. And um, she decided to, uh, she was gonna make some chocolate chip cookies. So Bonnie's famous chocolate chip cookies. She's getting all outfitted up. Say hi to you, fans. Hi, I'm okay, I'm getting my apron on. So I don't get my clothes dirty. Can't be doing your time. We're gonna make my famous chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, cause this is the cookie lady. <laughs> so everybody calls you. How'd you get started making these cookies? Okay, we can make 50 or 100. I think I'm gonna make 100 cookies today. Yeah, maybe we'll give some away. So we need one cup of butter. In her famous magic machine. What is this? You know, I, I didn't. Ooh, it's a Bosch. It's a Bosch, yeah. Um, Look at it, it does all this stuff. It slices, dices, no, I'm just kidding. It doesn't do any of that. It mixes and kneads and chops and blends and what else? Great cheese. It does all that weird stuff. Okay. <laughs> what do you know? Okay, what's the recipe? One cup of butter. One cup of Crisco. Um, when I was when I was young, about ten years old, yes. I wanted to bake something and I asked my mother so um, I just her. how to I said, I didn't know how to bake. I didn't know how to cook. She said, if you can read, you can cook. So I was able to read, and then I start baking brownies. Brownies? Oh, yum. Her brownies are to die for. So your granddaughter? You sound like you're 30. All right. A cup of butter and a cup of Crisco. Are these the ones, as one of your grandsons likes to say? The, the, the kids love it, but some people don't like to eat Crisco, use Crisco in their recipes. So if you don't want to use Crisco, just use all butter. And if you don't want to use butter, just use all Crisco. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. But I like half and half because it seems if I do half and half, then the cookies don't spread as much. And we're going to put in uh, one cup of each. So that's two cups of grease total. And I try to make this easy to remember for children. So all the all the Look measurements are are simple. I don't have quarters and three quarters. Let me find my cup measurement. Okay, here's a one cup. So I'm doing one cup of grease. No, two cups of grease. One cup butter, one cup Crisco. Two cups of grease all together. So now we need two cups of brown sugar. There's one. Here's two. Uh, it could be dark or light. doesn't matter. I use light. If you use dark, it's going to have a little stronger flavor. And two cups of white sugar. One, two. So we've got two cups of grease. We've got two cups of each kind of sugar. And then we're going to use two teaspoons of baking soda. One, two, and two teaspoons of salt. And if you take the salt out of the box or the bag, it's easier to measure. So I put it in a jar. Um, okay, those are your twos. Two, two, and two. Now we're gonna mix that so sorry, yeah, I just wanna... until it gets creamy. So you have your butter at room temperature? I was just gonna say the butter's at room temperature. Then you want it soft. Now when you see all the butter and Crisco is all incorporated, it's nice and creamy. Then you can add your eggs. So we're gonna add four eggs. One at a time. One, two, three. I was wondering if that was gonna happen. <laughs> it's smart to, it's probably smarter to crack your eggs. Oh, 
Okay, we've got four eggs, then we're going to add four cups of flour. Man, you are so organized. So it's a good idea to, to aerate your flour like this because it settles. So this lightens it up a little bit. I just have some chopsticks that I mix, mix through it with. So here's, this is a two cup holder. So this is two cups. Four cups. This recipe makes a hundred cookies. And you can easily cut it in half because it's just ones and twos. Now you want four cups of flour. And I don't have four cups of flour. Four cups of oats. So I have to. I, I'm four sorry. Oats. Four cups of oats. Four cups of oats. So I have two cups. Okay. You better pour it. All right, there's two. We got to get more. We'll be right back. Okay, I put two cups of oats in. Now I need two more cups of oats. Uh, you can use either regular or quick. It doesn't matter. I prefer the regular. Sometimes I think it makes it for a chewier cookie, but it's, it's according to what you like, to your taste. So you, I put in two cups of flour. I'm sorry. Four eggs, four cups of flour, Four cups of oats. <laughs> That's your fours, huh? And two cups of chips. Okay. Don't forget the chips. That's what makes these so good. Chocolate <laughs> chips. If you want, you could add nuts. I never do, because some people don't like nuts. Uh, but you could add nuts. That's it. All right, awesome. That's it. Now you've got a batter for 100 cookies. Very easy. scoop them and these sill pads are wonderful because the top and bottom are the same they don't burn on the bottom that way so you can either use a sill pad or a parchment paper this you never have to replace so here we go so I, I use uh, I, I put 20 cookies I, I put 18 cookies on a sheet I put four in each corner mm -hmm. and then to kind of make sure I've got this all even. And then I put uh, two over here. You could do it any way you want. And then I put, um, I make, I put 18 on. You could put 20 on, but I, I think they start, if they touch each other, they'll turn like square cookies instead of round cookies. They taste the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> they do taste the same. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they make wonderful gifts. Everybody loves getting chocolate chip cookies, so you kind of selfishly give them away because it makes you happy, but it also makes them happy. Selfless. Except uh, it doesn't make their hips very happy, but that's all right. <laughs> okay, there's 18, and you bake it at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes until it's golden brown. And depending on your oven, you might have to rotate it. What? I don't have to on my oven, so you just have to watch them. What's your signature move? And my signature move is a chocolate chip on top of each one. That's my... That's it's, the, my it's the only time consuming part of this whole process. <laughs> That's my point bit of, up, and you don't squish them or anything. You no. just do them like that. I don't squish it. They spread out nicely. You'll see after they're after they're baked. No the only thing you won't be able to do is taste them. So you're just going to have to make your own, <laughs> and there's nothing to it. It's very simple. I could turn out a uh, hundred cookies in less than an hour. So, all right. Well, I'm going to help you scoop them. Okay. Okay. You want to help me scoop? Yep. Okay, we've got the oven to 350, and I'm putting in one on the lower rack. 
and it's a double oven, so I get to use two ovens. If you don't have a double oven, don't worry about it. Make half a recipe. <laughs> and they'll still be good. So 350 for seven or eight minutes till they start spreading, and then raise them and put your other sheets in. So about a total of 15 minutes. Um, and if you like, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to my TV channel. <laughs> I don't know what channel it is. Five, you seven, three. You'll figure it out. That's not my thing. I just like to bake. You want to do more? I'm finished changing diapers. Now I'm making cookies. Ooh. <laughs> you want to bake more for us? I want to make more. Bake more for us? Do you want to make bake more stuff for us? Do I want to bake more stuff for you? For your channel. Yeah. I, I, do you want me to make more stuff for you? I'll make whatever you want. Just tell me. And uh, I love being in the kitchen. It's my cave. And I love cooking. I love baking. I mostly love baking more than cooking. So, because uh, I have a sweet tooth. If you have a sweet tooth, join me and we'll eat sweets together. One. Okay, let's see if they're ready to raise. They spread a little bit nicely. They're not brown yet, so we're going to put them on the upper shelf. Puffy little clouds. And uh, put the other, uh, other sheet in. And when that's ready to raise, those will be ready to take out and ready to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. I can't wait for that part. Although I did have some dough. I have to tell you the, the dough was <laughs> delicious. Did you eat any dough? Okay, I have, a, I have a grandson. I have to put aside two cups of dough and mail it to him. <laughs> he just loves the dough. <laughs> but the kids were always eating the, the dough when they were little. They yeah. were sitting on the counter helping me make the cookies and licking the bowl. That's what we did when we were kids. We would lick the beaters, we would lick the bowl. So nothing's changed. Life goes on. And nothing's, <laughs> nothing's changed. changed. Nothing's changed. <laughs> and raw eggs didn't kill us. I'm, I'm just a few years older. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is light golden, and if you take it out at this stage, they'll be a little more chewy. If you wait till it gets a little browner, it'll be more crispy. So I'm going to leave it in another minute because I like them a little dark. That's when I take them out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, I so like them. I light. like them chewy. This is light. Yeah, too light? Okay. Okay, I think these are ready now. A little darker. Oh, God, yum. Then you can raise the next one. Depending on how many sheets you make, you could triple the recipe. <laughs> You could quadruple the recipe depending on how big your bowl is, how much it'll hold. Uh, I, I never make a single recipe anymore that makes 50 because that's like nothing. They would disappear in a minute. <laughs> and you could just use a mix master, right? To a, like a, you know, like yeah, a lot of people just don't have. Yeah, you use a mix master your if machine. you don't have a KitchenAid or a Bosch. But I like my Bosch. You've seen that on the, maybe when I was making. Um, the mango bread, I used the Bosch, and the Bosch again for the chocolate chip cookies. Um, I probably use the Bosch at least once or twice a day. It also has a blender in it, so it's very But very you could use, though. most people don't have that though, so you could use something else, right? Yeah, you can even use a bowl and a wooden spoon to mix it. Okay. Oops, there's one missing. I kind of ate it. Mm. 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 So good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so hot. Oh, it's so mm. good. Heaven. Oh my God, I can tell. I'm going to some of that. And what are you doing with all these cookies? Okay, now. Give me that. I discovered I could, oh. not ready. Not ready? I have to soften the ice cream to make ice cream sandwiches. Oh my god. That was so happening. you take the ice cream out of the freezer, put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, 
and then it's perfect, easy to scoop. And then I'm going to show you how to make ice cream sandwiches. Okay, it's time for ice cream sandwiches. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Oh. So we scoop the ice cream, and we put it on the cookie, and we make a sandwich, and we put it back in the freezer, and then they're always ready for whenever you have unexpected, expected, drop in, whoever comes over, whoever knocks on the door, you put one on top and you just squish it and you roll it in cookie crumbs or any kind of crumbs that you have. And there you have a yummy, yummy ice cream sandwich. Okay, I'm making another ice cream sandwich. You take the ice cream scoop, you scoop it, you put it on the cookie, you take another cookie, you press it, you squeeze it, you roll it in the crumbs, and then you eat it or you put it in the, in the freezer for people that you love. And if you like this, send some comments and let me know what you want to see, and I'm happy to oblige. So... Thank you, thank you. Guess who loves you? I do.